Hello and welcome to Heartland Renovations, presented by AAA Insurance and Kitchen Concepts. I'm Lauren Rue. On today's show, we'll join up with my co-host, Mark Medea, who is out in the field this week, getting us caught up on the wonderful project that David Maloney has been working on in Midtown. If you'll recall, this is a huge project and quite an undertaking with over 3,500 square feet of living space being added, along with a swimming pool and complete backyard renovation. Now let's join David Maloney from Masterpiece Renovations as he brings us up to date on what's happening on the project. Since you guys were here about 10 days ago, we have um, all of our mechanical trades have been in here. They're running electric wires, they're running uh, HVAC duct work, they're running all of their plumbing work, and uh, we've also had to pull people in here running some of their pool equipment. We are also setting up a generator here to run um, a lot of the circuits in the house in case the power goes out in a storm. Uh, one of the things that you have to do is figure out what circuits that you're gonna run to the generator because the generator is not gonna be big enough to run the entire home. So that's a little bit of a challenge as well. Um, we've had our plumbers in here. They're running all of the water lines and drain lines for all the bathrooms, all of the sinks, dishwashers, refrigerators, ice makers, those kind of things. They've actually got all of their plumbing in. They, we've had a rough inspection for that, so we're good to go for that. The old electrical here in the house was some of the old knob and tube wiring had uh, the little screw-in fuses, if some of you can recall those things. Um, those, those fuses, those fuse boxes have been taken out. We've replaced them with new, new boxes. We've had to tie in some of the new wiring into the old wiring. We've had to take out a lot of conduit. The old house had a lot of conduit where the, all the electrical wires were run inside of the conduit. So it presented a little bit of a challenge by tying some of the old with the new. The house had some updated wiring, but we have replaced some of the old screw-in type fuse boxes. Well, here you see all of the electrical wires for the new circuits that are part of the new addition. The electricians have run all of these down from can lights, from switches, and from outlets that are all part of the addition. And it uh, looks like uh, quite a mess of spaghetti here, but uh, as you can see, uh, they've got a, a system that they work. Uh, you can see that all of the wires that they have here have some kind of writing on them, and they're labeled as to where they go. Eventually, all these wires will be put into a couple of these panels over here, and some of these wires will be put into circuits that are designated to be part of the generator that we'll, be, we'll have here so that certain parts of the house, the, for example, the refrigerator, the part of the heat and air system will be all part of that uh, generator circuit so that when the power goes out in the house, some of these will still have power through the generator. Well, we're out, we're out in the backyard where this is gonna be a beautiful patio that's gonna have a, a, a beautiful pool deck. One of the things that the homeowners asked us to incorporate here was uh, some planting beds all along the back of the home. We've made those out of concrete. They'll be able to plant plants in there that are gonna be beautiful. They'll also have a uh, irrigation system to be able to water the plants. They'll also have uh, a tight line drain that will catch all of the water from the downspouts into that drain and also a French drain to get rid of any surface water that's in the planting beds. What's happened with the pool, uh, you can see that one of the things that we've done here is we've got drain lines in that's gonna drain all of the surface water from this back area. All these white tubes that you see sticking up are actually gonna be drains that are gonna be in the pool deck that are gonna run water out to the driveway. Um, another thing that we're doing, the pool people came in, and as you can see here, um, the, if you were able to see underneath here, there would be literally about 14 pieces of two inch PVC pipe running into the mechanical room, which is just below the outdoor living area. All of those pipes run in for recirculation for the pool, and that's been done just in the last week as well. So what we're looking at here is this is a, an, a junction that we had to put together temporarily because all of these wires that ran on the outside of the house were in a large piece of conduit. Well, when we added on to the back of the house, we had to remove that large piece of conduit. When we did that, we replaced the conduit with these pieces of wire and tied them into some circuits that go into the existing house. Once we've got this framing up, the electricians will come in. <clears throat> you can see that these run up the wall. These existing wires run up the wall. We will actually take these wires and get them to where we can make a junction box that's accessible in the attic. The 
section that we're in was all was original to the house. Everything from those stairs back this way was original to the house. Um, this was actually a bathroom. It was a very small bathroom, and we've reconfigured it, made it larger to make a really large shower and and uh, separate shower and toilet area from the sink. One of our next things that we're going to be doing is actually moving this window over in line with the door because this window actually currently is in part of the shower. Well, the homeowners want to save the window because it matches the existing windows that are on the front of the home currently. So what we'll have to do is very delicately take the window out. Um, and once we take the window out, we'll have to remove some brick that's on the outside of the house to get the window moved over. We'll have to replace some of this framing, have to create a header and some structural uh, boards that come, uh, two by fours to come in to support the window and, and the roof line that's above us. So uh, that'll, that'll be happening probably this coming week. We found our first home and it was perfect, but the insurance quotes put us over our budget. We could back out of the contract, but lose our deposit. The realtor advised us to call Jennifer at AAA. I'm so glad we tried one more insurance company. They met our budget and saved us $50 a month on car insurance. I was so impressed by Jennifer, I went to work for her. Sometimes in life, you just need a little help. Take it from us. Call AAA. It's worth the call. Hi, I'm Lauren Rue with Heartland Renovations. I'd like to invite you to tune in every Sunday on My Network TV at 5.30 for Heartland Renovations, presented by AAA Insurance and Kitchen Concepts. Every week we showcase home improvements and renovations with Oklahoma's top service providers and industry experts. Heartland Renovations features the latest products, home improvement techniques, and insider tips. Be sure to catch us each week at 5.30 on My Network TV. Located in the heart of Oklahoma is a place where the stories, songs, and memorable performances of Oklahoma's native sons and daughters live on. Oklahoma has a rich history in music and continues to make a profound impact on the world's music culture and music industry today. From Wanda Jackson to Carrie Underwood and Blake Shelton, Oklahomans have created music that is famous around the world. Come experience Oklahoma's music from past to present. The Oklahoma Music Hall of Fame in the heart of Muskogee, Oklahoma is where the music lives on. And every week the stage comes alive with the Oklahoma Music Shop performances. Please go to omhof.com for live event schedules and to become a member of the Oklahoma Music Hall of Fame today. Before the break, we were able to see the progress being made by David Maloney and his crew on this extensive project. Well, fast forward several weeks and big changes are in order. My co-host Mark was able to drop in for a tour and see what's new. Here's Mark and David. Well, David, it is absolutely hard to believe that we're standing here and it's now mid-October. Mm -hmm. I really hate to use an overworked cliche, but I have to. The difference between where we were, what, six weeks ago, and now is night and day. Talk to us about this portion of the homeowners project. Well, yes, Mark, we had a, had a interesting project here that uh, we've been working on uh, for the last about four to six weeks. We put a really big push on trying to get the backyard done. The homeowners had a special event that uh, they requested that the backyard be ready for. Um, we had a lot of contractors in here. We were able to meet the deadline. They had their special event, it was great. Um, the backyard looks fantastic. I, I'm, I'm really happy with the results. Oh, and I bet the homeowners were absolutely thrilled that you and your crew were able to shift gears and, and put all your efforts here. Yes, it, uh, it turned out great. The homeowners were very ecstatic. The, uh, the event happened, uh, went off great. Uh, everybody was really happy. Well, let's get started with this unbelievable paradise. This is a place I would imagine anybody would want to come home to. Tell us what you've done. 
Well, obviously, uh, the last time you were here, the backyard was pretty much a big mud hole. Um, we've uh, got the pool finished, uh, spa finished, pool coping. The homeowners in this project uh, chose to go with an artificial turf, which I think is just gorgeous. Uh, one of the ideas was is that it doesn't get hot underfoot as much. Uh, really brings a warmth to the backyard. Um, we've done some pavers, took some old bricks, uh, reclaimed bricks to use as pavers. Um, the, the backyard just turned out great. We've done some landscaping around. Um, just, just really excited with, with the way it's turned out. Yeah, I was going to tease you a little bit and ask you uh, how often we should mow this, but tell us exactly what you used? Is it subject to fading? What are the advantages? No, it's uh, obviously the greatest advantage is there's no mowing, no fertilizing, no watering the grass. Uh, it'll hold up for many, many, many years. Uh, great pro pro product to, uh, to, to be around a pool and underfoot, not hot. Um, just, a, just a great product. So really all the lawn service has to do is what? Blow the leaves off of this and, and yeah. we're good to go again, right? Yeah. Pr pretty, pretty, uh, pretty easy to take care of. Now the pool. Let's let's talk about that in conjunction with the hot tub. Obviously, there's a natural lead. You've got a beautiful waterfall coming from the hot tub to the pool. Tell us how that works. Does that help, obviously, with the pool's temperature? It does help with the temperature a little bit. One of the things that uh, the homeowner really liked was having the little waterfall running over the the tile, and that water is actually adjustable where you can have the water run over and make a really good noise, or you can have it very quiet. Um, but it's, uh, and it's right there in conjunction, right next to the pool. Uh, just a beautiful place to relax after a day's work or on an evening or uh, have a little glass of wine in the, in the, in the jacuzzi. Just, oh, it's, just, a, just a great spot. It's incredibly soothing, even just standing here and listening to the, to, to the waterfall. Yeah. Great. Tell me about the, uh, uh, the area over here where the loungers are. Is that your tiling work? Um, it, that actually is not tile, Mark. That's actually concrete that's been scored. You fooled and, me. Correct, yeah. It's, uh, it's been scored and colored a little bit. Um, built that area in there. As you can see, we have a, a, a ground level variation here. The, the backyard sloped fairly significantly. We leveled it out here for the pool. Uh, we also did some grading there to create the little back wall with the lighting in it and create an area to sit by the pool. Um, Works out very good to set up tables, to hosting, those kind of things, as well as an area to lounge in. And you have done an outstanding job here. How, tell me how difficult it is to match what I assume are old uh, pavers over here to, to new ones coming off of the patio. Well, actually, Mark, all of the pavers that you see here in the backyard are actually reclaimed pavers. Okay. Um, they've been uh, torn down out of a building of some kind, a warehouse, and reclaimed, and we use them throughout the whole project here in the backyard. Uh, one of the things that the homeowners were trying to get is uh, a little feeling of the old world. Mm -hmm. They they like the uh, the New Orleans feel, which you get with this all the uh, bronze features, the guttering that's bronze, the windows are bronze, the reclaimed pavers, just gives that old world New Orleans type feel. It really feels so comfortable. I, I would classify this as understated elegance. The patina, the softness, the finish, and obviously it, it, it looks uh, perfect with, with the uh, year that this home was built, the era thereof. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, uh, we, the homeowners took a, a great deal of time in, in selecting finishes, uh, the pavers, you know, all, all of the things that, uh, that go into this. The homeowners did a great job of, of selecting all of the finishes. I, I, I think it's turned out really good. Well, David, you and your entire crew at Masterpiece Renovations have done a fabulous job. I really think you guys have knocked this out of the park. And ladies and gentlemen, you might want to jot that name down. If you want quality like this, David's your guy. I'll tell you what, let's go back inside after break. You've got some cabinetry you want to show us, don't you? Yes, sir. We've got some cabinetry that just got installed last week. And thank you so much. I'm Mark Medea for being here at Heartland Renovations. Moving to a new city can be exciting, but we hadn't been in our home more than a week when Ashley was involved in a car accident. On my way to the accident, my first call was to Levi at AAA, who gave me the steps to take at the scene and later put us in contact with an agent to process our claim. Levi and the AAA team were in our corner every step of the way. AAA knows what it means to serve. Superhero service, that's AAA.
Kitchen Concepts is recognized as one of Tulsa's leading kitchen and bath designers and remodelers. Our design team has over 50 years of experience working with the top builders, designers, and architects in Northeast Oklahoma. From custom designs and cabinetry to installations, Kitchen Concepts is Tulsa's professional resource for home improvement projects. Please stop by for a cup of coffee and to discuss ideas around making your dream kitchen or bath a reality. Hello, my name is Rob Smith and I am the founder of Tulsa Premier Contractors. TulsaPremierContractors.com is your online source to find all the best local contractors in Tulsa. We focus on contractors that will provide the exceptional products and craftsmanship that will make your house a home. So whether you are building a new home, remodeling, or just need some general maintenance, Tulsa Premier Contractors is the place to go. Choose the best. Choose a Tulsa Premier Contractor today. Now, Mark, when people think of natural disaster coverage for their mm -hmm. home, in Oklahoma, the first thing that comes to mind is tornadoes. Right. But earthquakes have been something that have happened to see more often than tornadoes these days. Yeah, go figure. Obviously, the big players are to your point, tornadoes and wind and hail damage causes more damage than tornadoes. But here we are, Oklahoma now leading the country for earthquakes. There's a lot of debate about what causes it. Okay, we don't have to get into the weeds on that, but here's what I want people to know. There are two types of earthquakes, either man-made or natural events. You wanna make absolutely sure that your insurance covers both events. AAA insurance does, no questions asked, Let's also talk about deductibles because earthquakes are expensive. AAA offers as low as a 5% deductible off of your total coverage. So if you've got a house valued at $200,000, you're going to pay 5%. You're going to be in it a little bit. But I'll tell you what, Lauren, it sure beats having no coverage at all. In Oklahoma right now, until we get this thing figured out, you need to have earthquake insurance. Well, and you mentioned deductible, and you were speaking my language when you said a lower deductible anywhere right. else. If people want more information about earthquake insurance or AAA insurance overall, where do they go? It's so easy. AAA.com. You can call. You can click. You can visit. We've got a lot of offices here in the metro. Just find one near you. And we're back at Heartland Renovations, sponsored by AAA Insurance. David, now that we're back in from that gorgeous outdoor project, we're inside, we're going again here. You've got some custom cabinetry. Tell us what you've got going here. Well, we're standing here in the kitchen. Uh, we've got a large island mark. Okay. Um, these cabinets are uh, handmade, custom made. They are also painted already in a what they call a conversion varnish. Hmm. which is literally you can take and pour lacquer thinner on these cabinets and it won't hurt them. Wow. And that's uh, saying something. It's the newest type of paint that you can get for woodwork. It's, uh, it's quite the process, uh, but that conversion varnish is a really durable product that we put on our cabinets here. Uh, very, very, very excited about the product. Everybody seems to really like it. What sort of a top are we going to go with? We're going with a marble top. Um, this, old, this island will have its own um, prep sink in it. And uh, this will be a large area. We'll have seating on this side. And not only that, Mark, but this same marble will go on the countertops over where the cook, cooktop is. And it'll also go on where the sink is. But the other thing that's really sort of neat about this one, Mark, is that they're going to run that marble up the walls. That whole wall over there with the backsplash and this whole wall over here, backsplash, will all be solid marble that matches the countertop. Oh, sort of a unique feature. That's going to be great. I can't wait to see what that looks like. It's going to look really neat. We're excited about it. We've got these cabinets also in an area over here behind one of our really fancy doors. That's, uh, that's the coffee bar. And then also in our pantry area over here, um, we'll have the same marble in that area as well. You mentioned the doors. Let's talk about that. In keeping with this southern charm kind of theme, uh, the house has some history, which we're going to get to. You're going to be real excited about that. These doors are beautiful. How did you find those? Well, uh, the homeowners have a designer who's worked with them on the project, and he was the person who actually came up with the doors. 
Uh, we've got two of them up here, and we have one downstairs that goes to the laundry room. Um, don't know the story behind mm -hmm. the doors themselves, where they came from. Uh, they're gorgeous, they're old, and we had to do a little bit of work to them. They have some special hinges on them. So we had to do some custom work to make them fit in the holes and function properly, but boy, do they, uh, do they, they set a tone in here in the, in the living room. And that's gotta be the great part of your work. Some of your best work goes unseen. Yes. When you have to <laughs> retrofit something like this, Yes, uh, you know, an average person would come in and go, hey, those look really neat and have no idea about the work that went in to actually make those things function properly. We'll be back with more Heartland Renovations sponsored by AAA Insurance right after this. Traveling from one county courthouse to another, I see a lot of different cases. When I found out I could save over $2,000 a year on my home and auto insurance by switching to AAA, well, I felt like I just got out of jail. AAA treated me with honor and respect. Switching insurance companies could not have been easier. With my newfound freedom, I plan on testifying on behalf of AAA. It's a nice feeling. Hi, I'm Lauren Rue with Heartland Renovations. I'd like to invite you to tune in every Sunday on my network TV at 5.30 for Heartland Renovations, presented by AAA Insurance and Kitchen Concepts. Every week we showcase home improvements and renovations with Oklahoma's top service providers and industry experts. Heartland Renovations features the latest products, home improvement techniques, and insider tips. Be sure to catch us each week at 5.30 on My Network TV. Mark, I have a special surprise that I want to introduce you to the homeowner here. Uh, we've been working with for the past several months, and uh, his name is Greg Ratliff, and uh, I'd like to introduce you to him. Thank you so Hi. much, Greg, for, for the pleasure of being in your beautiful home and sharing well, this you. renovation project with us. Absolutely. I it's understand that we've got some historical significance yeah. that we're going to talk about a little bit. Yeah, the house itself. Um, the house itself was built in 1936, and so the addition is new, but this has been here a long time. Mm -hmm. Um, it was built by the Frank Bernson family. The Bernson Foundation is still an active charitable foundation here in Tulsa. It does a lot of community support, but they were the original builders and homeowners. They liked the New Orleans look and the New Orleans feel, and so they brought a piece of New Orleans history here that's on the front of the house. The balcony railing, the wrought iron railing, mm -hmm. came from uh, Jefferson Davis's house, the pre president of the Confederacy, who wow. had retired to New Orleans. So it, when his house was being demolished, they <laughs> salvaged the railing and brought it here. My goodness, what an interesting yeah. piece of history. Yeah, right and here. Tulsa has so much history. That's just fun to have a little piece of, uh, it is. of New Orleans here with you. Um, just other trivia about the house. Um, it was built in the 30s, so mm -hmm. it was when all of the oil barons were building their mansions, the Skelly Mansion, the McBurney Mansion. And this is not nearly that grand, <laughs> but it's in that era. And a local architect named John Brooks Walton decided to collect a book of a hundred homes in Tulsa that were built in that time that are kind of historically significant. Mm -hmm. And so this is in that book. Oh, this that's got to feel so great. So it's really fun. Sure, yeah. sure. And Tulsa, obviously, with the tremendous history of oil money and and we're rich one day and we're bust the next and, <laughs> yes. and everything else, it's really got to have a great... Uh, uh, a great significance for you and your family. The, the history of this house in, in Tulsa itself is just wonderful. It's a, it's a great city. Greg, we've got the contractor here with us, mm -hmm. David from Masterpiece Renovations. Let's not put him on the spot. Well, <laughs> let's put him on the spot a little bit. How has this guy been to work with? Has he met the expectation that, that you and your wife started out with? 100%. David, David answers the phone when you call, which is number one. The customer <laughs> service counts, and he, he's good at that. When we have changed or flexed, or, or and, and any time you have a wife and a decorator involved, mm -hmm. uh, it, there's changes. It's like a board meeting. We're yes. going to have changes. And so we have those meetings, and David comes to those meetings and follows through on the changes, and he hasn't missed a beat. The, for the magnitude of the project, we've had three or four small hitches, mm -hmm. which is absolutely astonishing to me. You know, and that's that's the mark of a true craftsman. So props to you and your company, your crew. I know that you've got a lot of sweat equity. And David, 
it's got to feel good to start looking around and saying, this is coming together, yes. Yes, it's <laughs> uh, as you start to see things beginning to come together and see the finishing touches, it's a... Uh, it's, it's been phenomenal working on the house from the historic significance, um, just the, the magnitude of the job, the, the finishes that the homeowners have chosen, and last but not least, it's actually been really good to work with a homeowner that understands the process. Uh, I've done so many projects where a lot of the homeowners get really nervous about things and they get frustrated and things aren't going right, and, and Greg and Cheryl have been both really great to work with. We're not quite done with the project. Um, we, we had a big push to get the outside done, uh, which we were able to do. We still got a little bit to do out there, but um, we still got um, several you, things to do inside. You told me next week. <laughs> next week. No. Not quite that quick, Greg, but, no. uh, but things are going along really well. We, we are on our timeline. We are right on our budget. Um, and so we like probably another six, seven weeks, I'm hoping, to, to wrap everything up and, and be finished and let Greg have his house and we'll be out of his hair. <laughs> and we can't wait to see more, which we will right here on Heartland Renovations, sponsored by AAA Insurance. Every week here on Heartland Renovations, I am blown away by the great home makeovers we see, but this place is just off the charts. The quality of the updates being completed, not to mention the size of the project, is very impressive to say the least. I want to thank our presenting sponsor, AAA Insurance, for making the show possible. And thanks as well to Kitchen Concepts, we are delighted to bring you these segments from their showroom and stay tuned for future episodes where we will get to see their work up close as well. That's all the time we have for this episode of Heartland Renovations. I'm Lauren Rue for Mark Medea. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next week. <laughs>